So if we look at the the Australian curriculum, you know, as a, as a as a teacher, it can be really overwhelming. You know, you if you're a year one two teacher and you look at the curriculum, it looks like there's lots of stuff, and it's, it can be hard to put it together. And really, one of the weaknesses of the Australian curriculum is that it's cut up into individual years. I don't think that we'd have a, an evidence based curriculum that would look like that. But there are strong indications, lots of guidance in the curriculum about how to put it all together. So if you've got a composite class, for instance, if you've got that R12 class, it looks like you've got to look at the reception, look at the one, look at the two, but actually there's an indication in there as how to escape from that, how to see the threads that run through it. And so if we look at the year level descriptions, there's a little button in there that where you can reveal the year level descriptions. And if we stick with reception one and two, in that description that can be revealed, there's a, a, a statement about what reception one and two is about, what the flow is through reception one and two. And it really talks about it being about observations, patterns, and then predictions. That's that flow that runs through it. And then in each of the year level descriptions, it unpacks that for particular years. So in the foundation years, it unpacks it. And in the foundation years, what it's really saying is, um, what, what, what have you noticed? What have you seen? What have you heard? What have you, what have you felt? What did you, what did you observe? What did you notice in that process? As we go through and go through into year one, we're still talking about that overarching observations, patterns and predictions. And so the focus in year one is about the patterns. And really what that's saying is, what do you think? What do you think about that? What does that make you think? You know, what, what, what's, the, what's going on there? What's really going on there? Um, a, a little bit of why do you think that's happening? What are you wondering? And then as we go through into year two, we've got that same statement about observations, patterns, and predictions. And now where we're going with the year uh, twos is to ask some questions about, well, what do you think if? What do you think would happen if? What do you think would happen if we change things? What do you think would happen if, things were, if something was different, if you did it in a different way? Um, we're starting to ask some questions about predictions. You know, how could we transfer this thing that we've been thinking to something else? And so what we're seeing is that you don't have to compartmentalise it into reception one and two. You can actually take that theme that the Australian curriculum has given us right across reception one and two and do it with our composite class. And so we might be focusing with the receptions on what did you notice? We might be focusing with the year ones on, what did you think? And we might be focusing with the year twos on, what do you think if? What do you think if things were different? To make some predictions and to think about the future, to anticipate changes and, and other applications. But they're all having a shared experience, but learning the learning intent for each of them is slightly different. And so those themes through the Australian curriculum really allow us to see where the curriculum is going, where the intent of the curriculum is going, and to make that work for our composite classes. If we haven't got composite classes, and we've just got that year one class, it also gives us a, a view of where we're coming from and where we're going to. And so rather than this learning being that fragmented, standalone learning, it's much more part of a, of a learning narrative, much more part of a learning journey. And, w and that might help us to see where different students are on that journey and sort of to differentiate the curriculum appropriately for those students and differentiate, differentiate our support differently for those students in terms of the, the distance that they're travelling down that pathway. So if we, thought, if we think about an, an activity, let's stick with our reception one and two class. So we think about that activity. Like, you know, let's just say it's blown up a balloon. So we blow up the balloon and we let it go. And, you know, and then things calm down a little bit. And then we, we blow up the balloon again and let it go. And we're having this shared experience with our receptions ones and twos. And our questions are, from the curriculum, our questions are, what did you notice? What did you think? And what do you think if? What would happen if we blew the balloon up more, if we blew it up less, if it was made of uh, thicker material, um, if we put something else in it, if we were to do it on the moon, a whole host of things that we could um, ask some what-if questions around. 
But what we're doing when we're, that, when we're doing that is, you know, we're really going down the rabbit hole. We're really saying, I don't know what's going to happen. What, what we are doing is we're creating a situation in which that learning can take place. We are honouring the intent of the curriculum, but we're also starting where the kids are. We're also taking the kids' questions and then finding ways of honouring those questions. We're going on that learning journey together but it's based in the curriculum. It's really picking out those, that in strategic intent of the curriculum and not just instructing stuff. So if we take an example um, that, we've, that, that has worked with reception students, um, here's a video of um, the, the temperature changes across a year in Australia. So each one of these maps is the, the temperature chart for Australia on a particular day. And what uh, the teacher did was to take these charts, make them into a video, and to show them to the students. Didn't set them up, didn't instruct them, didn't tell them anything. Just show them to the students, to the reception students. And um, they would watch through the video, and then the questions were, what did, you, what did you notice? What did you see? And of course, different students would notice different things. They noticed the changes, they noticed the colours. Lots of them will have some ideas about the red meaning hotter um, and, the, and the yellow, orange, green colours meaning colder. Some of them notice the scale on the side and so start to put some numbers to it. And so we're really asking those students, what, do you, what, what did you notice and what do you think? What do you think that's telling us? And so we're starting with that reception, what do you notice, and drawing them towards the what do you think. And then we're linking it to the literacy. 